I really appreciate that. Yeah, it's a big sacrifice. I want Mexican food. So Kelly. You mean a lot to me because you were like you introduced me to service at Living Home. So as soon as I like got here and just had me cleaning and organizing and just like you're right. Let, like You're it, right. it was like such an outlet because that's what I do. <laughs> so it was like, yes, I get to clean something. And so, it was so, <laughs> <laughs> so it was just so exciting that you just like stepped in and was like, oh, you're good at this. Come help me with this. And I just felt so loved and welcome and like wanted and needed. And I just felt like, like through you, I felt like a part of the family here, that's just like already, you yeah. know. And so I just I appreciate that. And I thank you for being patient with me because I get confused and kind of slow sometimes. <laughs> but but you just always patient and helping and helping me. And I just love you. And I just appreciate you and everything that you and Preston have done. Just being encouraging and just loving to me. Yeah. Your tender heart is so appreciated. Your tenderness. And you're not confused. <laughs> Hallelujah. Not at all. Not one bit. Not one bit. You're beautiful, Stan. Mm -hmm. Is that um, I could sum you up in two words. I would say that you're a person of love. Yeah. Just the way, like, you just show us all, you know, love. And I know personally for me, like, I have always felt loved by you, Carol Dawn. I just want to thank you so much. Like, you've always just made me feel so welcome in your presence and to be here at Living Hope. And you're such a great example to us as to what a servant really is. Because you're you're always willing to step up and do whatever needs to get done. Like, you know, yesterday when you helped me organize, like that you didn't even have to do that, but that blessed me so much and, and that's just who you are. You're such a selfless person. And so just thank you so much for just how much you give and bless us. Thank you, Noah. And I really appreciate the way you find treasure in things. Like, people throw things away and yeah. it's garbage to them. Mm -hmm. But you bring it and you make it so, like, yeah. an antique, mm -hmm. a treasure. Yeah, yeah. But not only in things, but in people, too. Yeah. You know, you see treasure in people. People that, um, that people don't want to deal with or people that they just overlook. You see treasure in people. You, tr you mm, see yeah. treasure in things, you know. And I really love that about you. I have a great teacher. Uh -huh. Amen. Robin. Uh, what can I say here? The last shall be first, the first shall be last. I think when when we get to the gates, we'll, people will be very surprised as to who's there and who's not. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about in the church too. I think maybe a lot of times in the world we you know we're so dazzled with Christian celebrities in the world and then it's really the behind the scenes people that are first in the kingdom and you are you and, and Sean are those behind the scenes that's what God sees and I I'm, I think you're going to be the first there and it's like you like I, I, I told you I mean it's yes, like yes ma'am I have a song <laughs> and I, I told you this before but it's like you teach me how to what how to, how to crucify myself <coughs> what it what that means I think it's it, it's rare to maybe hear a message about you know crucifying yourself, but when you have a life when it's like this is what it means to do that, and you see the blessings that 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 brings, you know, and you're just so consistent. It's it's like you're the last person standing. Yeah. Like in the battlefield, it's like when the smoke clears. I and I give this example to Joseph Olberg too, but you're the feet, you're you're like the counterpart. It's just like Joseph Olberg. <laughs> And then Carol Dawn yeah. and Sean is just like the last man standing. Yeah, and it's yeah, like yeah. all the smoke is there. And then you're not just standing, but you're cleaning it up. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, and it's like, it's so amazing. And you know when Paul says, you know, I'm being poured out as a drink offering. It's like, that's, it's, that's, that's you. And you even say, you know, I'm, I will die for you. You said that to me, but you will die for every single person here and every single person that you Meet and you know your hunger for hurt and humanity. Um, <laughs> you know it, it's just 
the example of it. I love going. I would love to just spend the day. I love spending the days with you when we're just walking to the stores, and then you just, you just, you know, we're paying for stuff. You know, Jesus. You know, stuff like that. I love it because you force me to be bold. I'm a bold person in the yeah. inside, but a lot of times I get domesticated uh-huh. for the day to day. But when I'm around you, that line just let's go. That's and so. Awesome. That's not the truth, brother. I can brother. keep going. I can keep going. It, it's already in you. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, you know what I appreciate? That you share my dad's birthday. So you have a real special place in my heart. You know? Um, I see so much of my dad uh, in you, Robin. That it just... My dad has been gone for about five... It's been five years? Four or five years. Yeah. And it just... When I see you, I don't think that you realize... You know, because of that same date that you guys share, that it just, like, you know, I don't, you know, like, it's right there in you, Robin, you know? And you have such a special heart, you know? You have that same heart, Robin. You're a brave heart, too. Uh-huh. Brave heart. Yes. Okay, bet. Yeah, brave heart. You can see Vic's face on there. Yeah. Uh, you're amazing. Yeah. You're like our spiritual crybaby. You know, like, you know, you're sensitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a good way, in a good way. I don't mean as love. Yeah, I do. 